y'all this is melinda with green duck sales i am going to do a valentine's day card with one of the die cuts from Feb not february january's box of the die cut club so this is the die cut i'm going to use i picked out a magenta or hot pink card base that I'm going to use. I have a whole bunch of these pre um, card stocks that I've already embossed um, the back of them. I did a whole bunch at one time. So I'm going to use, can you see this pattern? It's like a chevron pattern on a darker navy. I thought it went well with the hot pink. And then we're going to use the die cut. So I'm going to go ahead and then we'll embellish some other things around it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down to the size. I gotta get my cutter pillar, my favorite cutting machine. So I'm gonna get my cutter pillar out and trim down some of the sides so it fits. That makes some room here. Let's just do a little bit. Look at that, look how thin that is, that it cuts right off. And a little bit from the top. See, look at that. It's amazing. Looks great. See if that is what I want. Okay. Probably want a little, a tiny itty bitty bit more off the top. So I'm gonna do a tiny, tiny itty sliver. I don't know if you can see that. See how small that is. Just check it. Make sure. Yay. Yes. That's what I want. Put my cut up pillar back. Hear this puppy. Get out my ATG done for this one because I'm just going to lay it directly on. It's going to be flat because the die cut has a bow on it and then the embellishments I'm going to use will raise up onto the card as well. Let's get rid of the garbage. Well, the lighting seems kind of dark in here today. I wonder if it's because it's so rainy out. Um, it's been raining a lot here, and um, I live in Southern California, which is fantastic because we need the rain. Okay, sorry, that's the other deck. And so, I think I'm going to put her down here, and I know this is not going to be a surprise to you, but I am going to die cut, die cut, I already die cutted her out. I'm going to pop dot. Her, which I know is not a surprise to any of you that have been watching me for a while because I pop dot we'll go with 90 I was gonna say 100% 90% of my die cuts so where do I want her right because I think I'm gonna put the buttons I'm gonna put what these little white buttons like my embellishments, maybe right here, and maybe one right there. I don't want her completely centered. I mean, there's enough cards where the die cut is always centered. I don't really want it centered fully. So maybe off to the side right there. It's nice to have other angles not everything centered all the time not directly in line with everything it's nice to have it a little off every once in a while or all the time if you want to do it all the time do it all the time but I want her we're gonna go right there let's pick out the buttons 
these are just, it's different white buttons. I picked the white because I thought it would be a nice neutral to go. Let's do a littler one right here. Maybe, actually, maybe what we'll do is pick two bigger ones. Right here and then a smaller one. Mm. Yeah, I kind of like the three up here. What do you all think? You like the three above? I think they're too close together. Maybe. Maybe like that. You have to let me know in the comments. Did you like it? better with the two and then the one or the three and the one and I'm going to hot glue these down with my little hot glue gun you can use adhesive you can use hot glue um, the glossy accents works really well too and you never see the residue come through on a glossy accent. Let's get all this glue that you don't need off. And I am going to put a little button right here. You'll have to let me know still in the comments below. Did you like it with the two, the three, or now I have four in here. Let's keep adding. Okay. I'm just getting the glue residue off. And voila. Easy as that. I now have my first Valentine. Valentine, Valentine Day's card to send out to someone. All right, thank you for watching. If you are new, please subscribe. If you have come to my channel before, thank you for coming back. And if you haven't yet, subscribe. We have all kinds of giveaways coming. Um, we are going to have little giveaways, but the big giveaways will happen each time I reach a milestone in subscribers. So we just gave one when I hit 10, and we will give another big giveaway when I hit 20. So look forward for that. Thank you for watching.